friends and, and everybody's here and golly look at this. I mean here we are how many years later for us guys? 32, 32 years later. Thanks for bringing that up. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just went on my Medicare. <laughs> I mean you know, who would have thought back then that we'd be here today? Well, it's just pretty amazing. And look at these wonderful people, you know, and they're still with us. This is wonderful. And, and, and there's one person just, just in a moment of silence for Deborah Hill. I wish she was here. She was really instrumental in making all this happen for us. So I'm not the moderator. You just hand me the mic. You're on. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Because now I have a live mic and I don't have to yell anymore. Sweet. So hey, no one, Halloween 2 came out at a time when, when sequels weren't exactly the thing yet. You know, when, when Halloween ended, even though Michael had this habit of disappearing at the end, no one really thought we'd come back to him that soon, but here, a few years later, Tell us how you got involved into resurrecting the shape, Rick. All you, baby. We'll start with you. Well, let's see how that work. Um, I was in an acting class, and I saw a scene that I thought would make a great short film, and um, I sort of got a bunch of people together, and it was sort of very much out of the spirit of, hey, let's let's get together and make a short. So I made my memorable moment happened before the film. And it was very rare in Hollywood. Because Rick and I, we were an acting workshop together, we worked together, I think there was mutual respect and trust. And he wanted me in this role. Well, what is it? You're like, what's up? Don't, I, don't cry, I need your pie. What? <laughs> I think those parents are above the door at Graceland. <laughs>